Hi everyone, it's me, Skeleton, with another vlog chat for you. I was thinking it's about time we do some more vocal exercises, and I have a few more up my sleeve that I like to do um, from time to time, and it helps uh, with breast support. And a lot of people, you know, the big biggest thing to, a lot of people don't realize how important it is um, when you're singing to have breast support. And, uh, oh, Bubba's in the other room, so I <laughs> hope it doesn't make too much noise. Anyway, um, so one of the first things to do, you want to get your voice centered. And when you're singing, it's really important to go through your sinus cavities. Be quiet, Bubba! Okay, so um, it's important to go for your sinus cavities. So what you want to do first, we talked about the lip buzz, we go... Okay, that's one thing. Now, um, put your pinch your nose like this and keep talking. And you want to feel some residents in your sinuses when you're doing this. So pinch your nose like so and keep talking and feel where the residence is. Now, a lot of people are afraid, most people are afraid of nasality when they're singing. So they overcompensate by going way back on the throat like that. You don't want to be that back there. You want everything to be, be um, resonating through your sinus cavities, not your nose. It's not going through your nose. It's going on the sides of your nose and around here. So feel it in here. Do you feel it resonating in here? Resonate. Yeah. Okay. So here's a way to get your voice in the right place. Uh, here's one trick. Um, go the do the e ow. So go e ow. See like that, and um, that that way it um, helps get it through your your sinus cavities. That way. Try it one more time. E <laughs> yeah! Uh, so that helps you get it through the sinus cavities. Now another thing to do is um, use the vowel, use the E vowel, but use it on a C. So do a, do a snake. This is called the snake. So um, do a hiss and then go C. So go C. 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 And that gets you right where you should be. So when you're when you're singing, um, that's the telephone. I won't get it now. When you're singing, you want your voice to be in the proper place, um, or else you'll get vocal strain. Here's a um, technique for we're going to do. Okay, today it's for breath control. Um, let's see. Okay, it's called "They Went Away," and you can you can go. Um, up the scales or down the scales if you want to, like we practice, like like that. Okay, and when you're done with your scales, practice your breast support. This is called They Left and Went Away. And you just um, you repeat the number so one by one and two by two they left and went away one by one and two by two and three by three they left and went away one by one and two by two and three by three and four by four they left and went away one by one and two by two and three by three and four by four and five by five they left and went away one by one and two by two and three by three and four by four and five by five and six by six they left and went away one by one and two by two and three by three and four by four and five by five and six by six and seven by seven and eight by eight and nine by nine they left and went away all right, so you get the gist of that, and uh, keep going as far as you can uh, until you get as 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 the high num highest number you can get, and that's going to help you uh, with your breath support. When you take your breath, go like that. 
So let's do another breathing exercise. We're going to take a deep breath and let it out slowly. This is called the slow leak. Um, and this is, gonna, this is what's going to happen with Hillary Clinton's emails. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Ready? Take a deep breath. <gasps> Did you feel that? You should feel like you have a balloon in your stomach. <laughs> Try it one more time. Ready? There we go. That's, exi that's, that's exactly it. It's the slow leak and that will help you um, Okay, Elvis behind me. Right, Elvis? Elvis probably did these exercises. Um, it'll, help you, um, it'll help you with your breathing technique. Um, now, here's one more thing. Put your thumb right here. Put your thumb right here. And then push up. That's right there is your diaphragm. You see that? Right there is your diaphragm. So push up and go like this. <laughs> <laughs> that will help you find where your right the right pitch for your voice is. So if you're not sure where your voice is, there's a book called Find Your Voice. It was written years ago by a wonderful uh, psychologist, and I think he was a Jew. So um, read that book. <laughs> they know their stuff. And you just take your thumb, go like this, and that will help get your voice see see the difference now before I was I was a little bit in the back of the throat it pushes your voice up and forward and one more bit bit of advice for singing an, an Italian opera singer told me once you wanna hook hook them in the you wanna hook it in the air and hook it in the schnoot <laughs> so that that means you wanna and then let it come out through not through your nose but through this areas around your nose and that will give you the proper uh, support that you need and uh, so remember you can do this sitting down standing up I recommend it trying trying it both I already feel better yeah I feel like my sinuses are loosening up and everything so uh, <laughs> so you can do that. Do this wherever you want to do. Do it in your car, and if someone uh, gives you the finger, well, that's their problem. So thank you all for watching, and until um, next time, meet Skelton. I'll be back for more tips for you. Bye.